Hey everybody, it's me, Cece, and I'm back today with a deco mesh and ribbon Valentine's Day wreath. So we're, I'm going to show you the materials we're going to use, and then we're going to jump right into doing it. It's called the bubble method, kind of a modified bubble method. But anyway, we're going to use a 14-inch wreath frame from Dollar Tree. I have six rolls of deco mesh, um, three different colors. I have a dark purple, a light purple, and a pink. Um, the reason I'm doing all these crazy colors is deco mesh is hard to find in my town. Um, I was lucky to find these. And I have a cute little sign with the gnome, the little pink gnome, X's and O's. And I'm going to incorporate this purple because purple is my sister's favorite color. So this is going to be for her. So we're going to use that. We're going to use 15 chenille stems. And then I have an assortment of um, ribbons. These are actually Easter ribbons, but they're purple. I have some purple, some pink, and some silver, and I have some of the um, um, Valentine's Day garland we might use. And then I do have one roll of ribbon, but this came from Hobby Lobby, so I don't know if we're going to use this yet or not. But I'm going to go ahead and adjust my camera and show you how we're going to make this quick and easy wreath. Okay, so when you have a 14-inch wreath, it has six sections. So for each section, we're going to put five bubbles. I'm going to show you how we're going to do our bubbles. We're going to have five bubbles for a section, so it's going to be 30 bubbles. So we're going to take 15 Chanel stems and cut them in half. Now, if you see, I have two different pairs of scissors. These are my good scissors and the ones the puppies chew to handle. I know these are my bad scissors and I can cut these Chanel stems with them and not worry about nicking my blades up because that's what I use them for. Okay, so we got that all ready. So. Okay, now we're going to take our um, garland and we're going to cut it into seven inch sections. So now um, when we make our bubble, when we put the twist tie on our bubble, we're also going to add a little piece of this uh, garland in there just to kind of spruce up our wreath a little bit. So we want to cut seven inch pieces and um, my little cutting mat from Dollar Tree is seven inches. So we're just going to take this, wrap it round and round so we can just make a few cuts and it's seven inches so we're just gonna take our scissors and since this does have some wire in it I'm using my wire scissors and you want to hold on to this because you want to cut the other side too so then we want to go down here and cut seven inches Okay, so we've got our three rolls of deco mesh, and we're going to make like a sandwich, and we're going to put the dark purple on the bottom, the pink in the middle, and the light purple on the top. Now, to make mine, make it more manageable and easier to do, um, and I don't want my rolls to get all tangled up, I'm just going to take these three rolls and I'm going to roll them together so I don't get them all tangled up while I'm trying to do my bubbles. Okay, so when I get to the end here, I'm just going to gather this up go ahead and put my twist tie on it and secure it and then just clip this off and now we're ready to start making our bubbles 
And see, that's a lot e easier for me to manage than um, having three rolls rolling everywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our twist tie. We're going to measure eight inches, gather it up, and on every other section, we're going to put a little piece of the garland we cut in the twist tie. Just flip it over, give it a good tight twist. And then we're just going to continue that for our whole roll. Okay, so we have got all our bubbles made, so now we're going to start securing them to the wreath. If you'll look at your wreath form, there's four rows of wires and then there's six crossbars. We're going to secure the first one to the two middle rows on the first crossbar. And we're just going to take the wire, go on either side, flip it over to the back, and give it a good twist. Then our next one, we're going to take our twist tie and we're going to go in between the two bars in the center, flip it over, give it a good tie. Okay. And we're going to do that until we have five bubbles in this section. When we get to our fifth one, then we're just going to secure it on the crossbar just like we did the first one. And then you can go back and fluff out your bubbles and you can, you can do them all the colors to one side or you can alternate the colors. Um, so I have the light purple, the pink, the dark purple, so I'll pull the dark purple to the outside and the light pink to the outside on this one and just fluff it out till you get it the way you want it. I'm going to do it all the way around the wreath. Once you get all your mesh attached, then you're just going to go back and fluff it out, and then we're going to attach our little gnome. Okay, to uh, attach our little gnome, we're just going to hot glue some chenille stems 
to the back of our little gnome. into the glue and then I just like to put a piece of cardboard over that glue spot I think it just gives it a little more stability my little little more decoration to my gnome so I got one of these little um, glitter hearts that come on the stem and we're just going to make a pom-pom right on the end of his little gnome hat okay now before we put our gnome on we're going to flip our wreath over and we're just going to pick somewhere and we're going to make a loop with a chanel stem for a hanger so I just like to take my chanel stem fold it in half and find one of these like crossbars on your wreath and then just give it a good twist and that'll be a good hanger for a wreath Then we're going to attach our um, little sign and then we're going to decide if we want to add a ribbon or not. So there's a good hanger for our wreath right there. So we're just going to take our little gnome, put him on there, flip it over and then we're just going to get our twist ties pulled to the back. There's our little gnome, and I think I am going to make a bow to go on here, kind of put it on this side over here. I have um, some light pink ribbon, some light purple ribbon, and this brighter color pink. So I'm just going to make a simple bow and I'll put it on there. Okay, so we're going to um, get three pieces of ribbon. I've got the pink ribbon, the purple ribbon. And then the uh, darker colored ribbon here. So we get three pieces about the same length. just gonna grab all three ribbons make a loop pinch it in the middle grab my ribbons fold them over make my loops about the same size pinch it in the middle and just keep doing that till I use up this ribbon that I've got rolled out. I'm 
going to put a chenille stem in the middle. Then we're just going to fluff out my loops. y'all so that is our quick and easy bubble method deco mesh gnome wreath so remember if Sissy can do it you can do it too and remember um i'm starting a new channel it should be coming up on wednesday january the whatever <laughs> i can't remember the date is wednesday january the 18th Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I'll put a link to my new channel below. It's going to be all about my uh, journey with low carb and trying to get healthy in this new year. So if you're interested in something like that, please check out my new channel. I'm going to be having recipe, recipes, uh, vlogs, just talking about my journey, my struggle. The struggle is real, y'all, but uh, we're going to get there. So, And remember, and I will be doing more. Um, Valentine's stuff coming up real soon, so stay tuned for that and hauls when I can get to the store. So we'll see you next time. Remember, if Sissy can do it, you can do it too. Get out there and craft the life you want. Bye.